Okay, so now we have the plates from filtrate from the enriched isolation. So we plated the host bacteria along with the phage sample. And here we see the negative control that just had phage buffer and no phage. And we see a nice bacteria lawn. Here in our more concentrated uh, 50 microliter phage sample, we have less bacteria because more of the phage lice the bacteria that would have been growing on that plate. And then here on this five microliter phage sample, we see well isolated plaques in the bacteria lawn where phage colonized in that host bacteria and then started to spread. So we can't really work with non-isolated uh, plaques. So this plate in the middle here is a little bit too overrun with phage. Whereas here, we can make sure that we have a pure sample of phage because we have plaques that are separated from the other. So now on the bottom side of this plate, we have the plaque that we want to pick circled. And so what we're going to do is once we flip this over, we're going to get a tip and we are going to lightly tap the top of the auger where that plaque is. And then we are going to shake that tip around in some phage buffer. So I'll go ahead and flip this over. Before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and put my phage buffer inside of a tube. I'm going to use 100 microliters for this. And then I'm going to get another tip, make sure I know where my plaque is. And then I'm going to open this up slightly and then just kind of tap the surface of the auger. We're going to kind of shake that tip around in that phage buffer to try to suspend that within the buffer. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to open up this plate more than I normally would. I would normally just try to open it up so we know bacteria can get onto my plate. But so everybody can see, I'm going to open this up and pick it. So here, I have this plate open. You might be able to see where I have the circle on the back side of that plate. So here's where the plaque I wanted to pick was. So I'm going to just very lightly touch the top. And you don't really want to get much bacteria or take any auger with you. Then you're going to take your sample and kind of swish it around on the phage buffer. So that way you can resuspend that phage within the buffer.